In 2017, Microsoft and Facebook laid out a massive intercontinental data cable across the Atlantic, capable of transmitting 160 terabytes of data per second. Microsoft claims that this is the equivalent of streaming 71 million HD videos at the same time and is 16 million times faster than the average home internet connection. It is the single highest capacity subsea cable to ever cross the Atlantic Ocean. Although many of us increasingly use wireless networks daily, the most critical part of the internet is the network of undersea data cables, connecting the entire world enabling smooth access to information. And today we look at how it all happens. So do click the like button before we go ahead. Connecting your home with servers and internet providers is usually done by LAN cables, which are easier to install and have a low operating cost. But the real engineering feat is the complex network of undersea cables that allows ultra fast data transfer between countries and continents. This network consists of over 420 cables stretching to a total length of about 1.1 million kilometers enough to circumvent the earth about 28 times these cables alone are responsible for 99% of the international internet traffic these cables use something called optical fiber technology to transit data packets across its length these are long thin strands of carefully drawn glass about the diameter of a human hair This allows an amazing average transmission speed of 35 terabytes per second. And some of the new cables like the transatlantic one we talked about earlier are capable of transmitting 160 terabytes of data per second. While the optical fiber in these cables is as thick as a human hair, the overall cable is very thick and bulky. This is because the majority of the purpose of these cables is to protect the inner layers from heavy underwater pressure, ship movements and turbulent phenomena like tsunami. These cables have 7 to 8 layers of different materials like copper, steel etc to protect the most inner layer of thin optical fibers. As you can imagine, repair cost for these cables is extremely high. So the best way to achieve durability is to add as many strong protective layers as possible. Laying out these cables also requires special equipment with custom built ships that have the capability to scrap the seabed and essentially bury these cables below it. As more and more people get online and businesses start using more bandwidth, the demand for high speed connectivity is only set to grow. 35 new submarine cables are planned by the end of 2022 by some of the biggest companies in the world like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft and others. After all, these companies combined are responsible for almost 70% of the entire internet traffic. So while satellite connectivity is still growing and helping reach the most remote parts of the world, core functionality of today's internet still depends majorly on these submarine cables. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel for more education related content. Thanks for watching.